So I have a MindLab Xterra here in 15 kilohertz field one program. And I have my iron off. I'll start with my iron off here. And I what I have here is 28 different bottle caps on the surface here. They're gonna sound different when they're in the ground, a little bit different, but they're at different stages of decomposition. Some of them are flattened, some of them are half bottle caps, some of them are just rusted out, some of them are new, some of them are covered with foil, and they sound different, right, at those different stages of decomposition. And, but they all have a telltale tone to them, and I'll show you how to reject these without doing the wiggle, without, because um, this machine does not have a bottle cap reject on it. So you're stuck with learning the tones. And um, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I choose to, most of the places that I hunt, I choose to dig the bottle caps out because I'm cleaning the ground out, right? I don't want to have to come back to that bottle cap again and again and again and again and again every time I come back to that site. So it only takes me just a second to get that bottle cap out of the ground and next time I come through there, I won't have to worry about that bottle cap giving me a little bit of falsing tones or whatnot. So I'll just sweep over these, these bottle caps and there's one common trait to these bottle caps. Watch my swing speed, right? With pretty much all detectors that I use, all detectors that I use that does the same thing here, right? In single frequency, multi-frequency is a lot different with multi-frequency. Um, multi-frequency machines have bottle cap rejects on them because you have to because it averages out those numbers and it makes that bottle cap sound really good so it's better to just reject those if you don't want to dig them up Turn the volume up here swing over it fast rejects it what's this one Swing over fast. Rejects it, right? Rejects it. Just give it a quick swing. If it goes away, it's a bottle cap, right? Pretty much guarantee for sure. You know, these bottle caps, by the time they get down six inches deep, they're just completely gone, just wasted. Um, I really don't find many bottle caps deep, uh, in, especially in my clay here. They rust by the time they get deeper, so. That one's rejected out. But when it's on the surface, sweep over it fast, rejects it. What? Sweep over fast, rejects it. Here's a foil covered one here. These ones fooled me a lot. Now watch, I'll sweep over fast, rejects it. All right. Here's a new bottle cap. Uh, not a shiny one, but a newer one. I want to trim my iron on her. I'm getting iron, but a lot of times you can't pull that trick when you're in trash because there could be another bottle cap right behind it. Right? Now watch. It's gone. I'm not getting that high tone anymore swinging fast over it. Right? What? See, this is that instance right here where if I back my coil out, I'm hitting another bottle cap right there. So, swing fast, <clears throat> it's gone. <clears throat> swing fast, it's gone. All these are different kinds of bottle caps. They're all iron though. It's gone. I'll even try a, uh, I'll, uh, I'll try 10 kilohertz. It's gone. It's gone. Right. This one's reading up high. Right. You give that little mind lag, lab wig, wiggle, you're going to be digging up a lot of bottle caps. Right. Swing over fast. Rejects it. Even if this bottle cap is three inches deep, if you swing over it fast like that, just give it a quick swing. If, it be, if it's rejected out, it's a bottle cap. But like I said, I want to dig these bottle caps out because I want to clear the layers out. I want to go deeper. You pretty much won't be digging it out much underneath these bottle caps if you don't get them out of the way. Swing it fast, fast. It's gone. Right. 
rejected. Right. Here's one that's just completely gone, just wasted. Just iron. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I'm telling you, I I I hunt a lot, and there, this is a quick way to do it. Instead of backing your coil out, and um, because in my soil that this trick does not work, because I, I get iron tones on my soil anyway. See, so listen to it. Right, I get the iron tones on my soil no matter what anyway. So this little trick of backing out of it, backing out of targets. You never see me go like this on targets. You never see me wiggle on any of my machines. None of my machines I use, I, I do that little wiggle because you'll be digging up more iron. So fast wind rejects it. Now I'll go to five kilohertz here. Turn my iron on here, five kilohertz. EMI. It's the reason why I don't use five kilohertz anywhere, right? 10 kilohertz. Now I'll go with these coins here. Big difference here. It might be close to the same numbers as the bottle caps, but it's just a different tone when you swing over it fast. You'll see. You'll see. Right? It rejects it. I'll even get way, way from it here. If this, if this bottle cap is in the ground there and you go like this over it, you're going to get a good tone. Just like iron. Just like a nail or something. You wiggle over it, it can be a sound killer, right? Swing over it fast. You would just a swift, swift, swing over it. Like that. Rejects it. Now watch these coins here. Watch these coins. Watch this time here. The dime and the penny are not being rejected. Same thing goes with those coins in the ground there. Maybe if they're on the other edge, you might get a little bit of rejection tone if you swing fast like that. But that's why I always rotate on my targets. I can listen to the shape of it. But this, all detectors have the same exact trait. If you swing over that bottle cap fast or that target that's in the ground and it gets, it's, it's rejected by a fast swing. I'm not saying just swing fast, fast, just swing over it faster, right? See, when, I, when I'm swinging, when I'm searching, when I'm in search mode and I'm just swinging around, when I find a target, I swing faster. I don't go slower. I'm not swinging slower, I'm swinging faster, right? Because I want to pinpoint that target and get it out. And even if it's a bottle cap, I'm still gonna dig it out. I just I just wanna get those bottle caps out so the ground is cleaner the next time you come. I don't want like uh, pull tabs. I don't skip my pull tabs up because those are gold rings, right? Though that same range of conductivity is a gold ring or jewelry. And if you skip those pull tabs up, somebody else is gonna come right behind you and dig up the gold rings, right? Some places I will reject the bottle caps. I will not dig them out. We can go to recovery speed two here. Well, watch this. Recovery speed three falses on the bottle cap even more. I'll go to one here, watch us. There we go. Thank you for watching.